Yeah, we do have a transfer rumor. A Frenchman by the name of Tristan Muyumba from Ligue 2 in France and apparently linked to Atlanta United that according to um, Lake Tanzi from the Keep in France, which is a major sports outlet out there in France. Yeah, so if you it's a reliable yep. source. This is not, you know, somebody that got bored this morning because they just wanted to conjure something up. It's, it's a legit source. No, and, and also it fits the mold, right? Or at least kind of. It fits a positional need. He's a midfielder. And... I mean, I think we've spent like 70% of our show over the past month and a half talking about the midfield for this team. So, you know, whether he's coming in as a backup to Ibarra or Hosedu or Sadich or or he's maybe the starter, I don't know. But I, I look, this, this news dropped like, what, a half hour before we went live, if that. And so I spent the little bit of time that I had trying to talk or, or look up who this guy is, what he's capable of. And, you know, we'll see if it even happens. First of all, it's a rumor, but it definitely seems to fit what Atlanta needs, at least what I think they need. Um, he's a he's a central midfielder or defensive midfielder that he's comfortable in the ball. He's speedy, quick. I don't know if he's got fire TikToks, Tommy, but uh, he's he's definitely um I would – Gray Gowder from, from DSS kind of described him in the time that he looked at him as, as fearless in the midfield. Good ball control, uh, which, I mean, all those are kind of aspects of, of a midfielder that you're looking for right now, right? So I think it's definitely something to be excited about if it happens. He's been a staple of – I think it's pronounced Green Gom. First made his appearances with him in 2020, had a couple, and then – the 2021-2022 season jumped up to 31 appearances. He had a, three goals that year, uh, an assist. And then this past year, he's had a couple of assists. But he's played 2,664 minutes this season, and they ended up in sixth overall in the league. So he's he's been a huge part of their side, and his highlight reel, uh, it, it's fun to watch. Hopefully it translates if, if he does, in fact, come here. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, not not a showstopper. Um, won't be on a DP contract or anything, I don't think. Maybe mm-hmm. a high gam player. Um, but yeah, came through the Monaco youth system. Uh, Monaco, obviously, a uh, big club in France. Well, in league, yeah, I should say Monaco's not French technically, but you know what I mean. Um, went to Bridge in Belgium, and then went to Toulon, I think it's pronounced, and then Guingon, I think it's pronounced as well. But uh, yeah, born in France, born in Paris, um, and then spent, like I said, a few years with the Monaco youth setup, played at their B-side, the reserves for a few years before, and then went to Belgium and then made this other stop um, in, I think, the fourth division of French football, and then joined Guingamp. So again, it's not a major name, and kind of part of me thinks it's a signing for the MLX next pro side. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't know if he's going to be a starter necessarily. I mean, he could. I, don't know. I, he I could. think, I think it's a first team signing. I mean, he's, he's 26. I don't, yeah. I don't know that they would be bringing in somebody. Um, I'm not saying, not saying you're wrong. I just, you know, it, it's one of those, there's a lot of question marks. I'm sure we'll learn a lot more about him over the next you know, few days or whatever. There was a follow-up tweet from the original source that kind of seemed to point to Atlanta being a front runner, depending on the translation, I think that you look at, but I mean, he seems to be more of a no frills kind of business midfielder. That's just not scared. And I mean, I think that's exactly what this team would need, would need going forward, especially with the problems they're having building out of the back. He's, He's not afraid to take the ball, take guys on one on one, but he's he he keeps the ball glued to his feet. So, uh, at least in the video that I've seen, and the and this is what not like a two minute highlight reel. This was extensive, so we'll see. Yeah, I think. Very curious. Yeah, and uh, just real quick, uh, among Atlanta United, of course, you said Tyler front runner, but um, um, a couple of fighter Bundesliga teams, according to Tansi, including Rostock, are in the running. 
uh, according to the tweet from earlier on Wednesday. So, yeah, we'll see what happens on this regard and yeah, whether he makes his way to Atlanta, Tommy. I mean, it's important that I think that that's the first rumor and the position, right? The midfield. I think that's the most important part I'm, I'm seeing about this is that's that's what we wanted to see, right? We want to see that this team gets stronger in the middle. Um, it's been our, our, our biggest pain now for a few years, and they're looking at it. And that, that probably means that they can move players out as well. I think that as you add players, it's going to start getting really crowded. So do you want to hold on to all these players in, in that position? So I, I hope that, you know, something like this comes true and we continue to see um, midfield rumors come around because that's really what we need here. So Emilio asking, is this guy a six? I was thinking we can use an eight. This guy is either or. Uh, from what I've seen of him, he's comfortable enough on the ball to be the type of six that I think Atlanta wants in terms of, you know, he, he's going to receive the ball from the center backs or from from Brad or whoever, and he's going to control it well. He's going to turn. He's going to move upfield. I don't think you see him maybe giving the ball up as much, but as an eight, which actually has been mostly, I think, his position, at least in the last season from what I, again, very minimal research before this episode aired. But he is – um He's a forward-facing guy. He's a forward-facing midfielder. So I think, you know, you might get a few goals out of him, but I think the biggest thing is just going to be his ball progression. I think he's going to take, if, again, all hypothetical, if he does end up here, then I think it takes a lot of the onus off of Almada or whoever's the 10 to have to draw back as much. I think he's he kind of fits the mold of what we've been talking about in terms of a guy that he can lock it down. Now. Sort of that connect, sort of that connective tissue, right? Exactly. Like? Exactly. Cool. So, um, yeah. Again, this just came out like Tyler, like he said right before we came on. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it actually came out like at three a.m. our time, but then making its rounds around Twitter over um, the past few hours before we came on. So, yeah, Tristan Muyumba from Guingamp, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but um, yeah, Ligue 2. League Deux, the second division League of Deux. France. Um, I love yeah. every word that, like, every word that you pronounced about him, like, every one. Like, every time you say a couple words, it's like, oh, that sounds really cool. And then you say a couple more from the league, and then you said something else, and it's like, ooh, even better. <laughs> I hope we sign this guy, because I just want to keep you, like, keep having you say that. And, and, like, I kind of hope you're wrong, because I love when people, like, mispronounce, mispronounce things, just, and then we find out later. But you're doing a great job. You make it sound legit. You so. sound professional. Uh, right. So uh, so what's his, what's his name again? Tristan Muyumba. From? Tristan Muyumba. Um, with Guingon. I don't know. And Ligue <laughs> well, 2. Uh, I, could, I, could hear you, I could hear you say this all day. Not Wimba Muyumba. Muyumba. I wish that was my text tone, just you saying that. <laughs> Muyumba. 